This is how asylum seekers do their laundry inside Moria camp on the Greek island of Lesbos. This wastewater has become the subject of an intense political battle. The nearest sewage treatment plant to Moria is four kilometers away. There's no pipeline connecting the camp to it, so tanker trucks shuttle back and forth. It's one of a number of services now part of a lawsuit launched by the head of the reception and identification service which runs Moria and other camps. Andreas Iliopoulos spoke to Al Jazeera about why he's blowing the whistle on migration-related contracts and so-called fast-track funding. I can go directly to interested parties. I can come to you and make a deal without revealing too much information to others. Fast-track funding began in 2015 at the height of the refugee crisis, but Iliopoulos believes it's harder to justify now. The government applies for EU money after it's already awarded contracts for work and services, and it could be months before it finds out if the EU is going to pay. When a particular expense is not selected for funding, it reverts the state budget. In our case, it means when a funding request is rejected, it's paid by Greek taxpayers. Right now, it's my impression that a sum of about 10 million euros worth of funding claims may be dismissed for services like catering, sewage treatment and others. Al Jazeera has found fast-track orders which bypass normal competitive bidding and assign catering and housing contracts directly to individual companies and non-governmental organizations. These can involve substantial amounts of money. This 10-day contract to feed more than 8,000 people in Moria is worth half a million dollars, assigned directly to a local consortium. It does not state where the money will come from, and the Greek taxpayer could end up with the bill. In the last four years, the European Union has allocated $1.8 billion to Greece in compensation for migration-related costs, such as food, sheltering and search and rescue. What is unknown to the Greek taxpayer is how much the government has spent through emergency procedures that aren't eligible for EU funding. And there are hidden costs to this way of doing business. The regional governor on Lesbos says she's been asking for Moria to be connected to the sewage treatment plant for two years. Not connecting Moria to it leads to the sewage being dumped in the surrounding dry riverbeds. We have been forced in the interests of public health and the environment to impose fines of 50,000 and 80,000 euros on the migration ministry because the water table is being contaminated. The ultimate cost, though, is borne by the asylum seekers themselves. It is they who have to live with the smell of dumped sewage and are forced to eat meals produced without any guidelines, allowing caterers to expand profit margins at the expense of quality. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Moria.